Hello, dear students. So now, today we would move ahead in this uh, eighth chapter of class six science, that is body movements. So today uh, we would be discussing about the skeleton, or you can say the human skeleton. Okay. So what is this skeleton? Okay. Now uh, let's assume you are here. Okay. Let's say you are here, complete. Okay. Rather, I would make your face also. Okay. Let's say you are here. Okay. Let's assume this. This is your feet, feet, etc. Okay. Now let's assume you have no flesh in your body. Let's assume the flesh is here outside. This is the flesh. Now this is the flesh. Okay. This is the flesh. Let's say no flesh is there. The skin, everything you remove. Okay. Now what would remain inside? Only the bones. You have the bones here, here, everywhere, hand bones, the wrist bones, etc, etc, knee bones, bones in your, this your leg, etc, okay. So, this rib case, or, or here also you have bones. So, this kind of, you would be getting bones everywhere. So, you would be getting a structure of bone, isn't it? Or I can say, you would be getting a framework of the bone, isn't it? Yes. So, this framework of the bones, the bones, where, let's remove the flesh skin everywhere okay now what would remain inside only the bones so the framework of the bones is known as the skeleton getting it the framework of the bone so the skeleton is nothing but it's the framework it's the framework let me show you let me show you if this figure is not proper you can <laughs> do not try to make it in your notebook i would show the proper one so this is the framework we are going to get if you remove the flesh or skin from your body. So a structure or a framework of the bones you would be getting like your head here. Okay, everywhere you have the bones. So this is structure is known as the skeleton. Okay, so in case of human, it would be called as the human skeleton. Isn't it? Here you have the bones everywhere in hand here, wrist here. Then you have elbow with ear bones. Then you have the pelvic bones here. In knee also you have bones. Here you have pelvic bones. This is known as the rib case. This complete structure. This complete structure is known as rib case. So everywhere you have some bones. Okay. Here you have small small bones. You can see. Here small small bones in your wrist. So these small bones allow the movement in the wrist also. We call these bones also as the carpals. Are you getting this? Okay. So this is the structure you have to make in your notebook. Of the human skeleton. So try to make it as good as possible. And, and this is the definition of skeleton. Okay. All the bones in our body form a framework to give a shape to our body. Okay. So this framework is known as the skeleton. Okay. First you have the framework. Means the, a shape you are going to get. Then the, with the help of the skin etc. You are having your complete body. Isn't it? Okay. Now let me ask you. How do we know what is the shape of human skeleton? Just now I have shown, I have shown to you the shape of the human skeleton. Okay. Now, suppose if you want to see it, how do you know whether the given uh, shape means uh, is of the human skeleton or not? How do, how do, how do, how do you know this now? For this, we have the x-ray image, isn't it? We are using the doctor, even the doctors are also using it whenever we just, we are hurt or we have an accident okay so doctors also use x-ray images isn't it they are using the x-ray images so in x-ray images so you have the x-ray images okay so with the help of the x-rays you are going to get the framework of the uh, of the bones here okay so in the x-ray images if you see you would find there the bones there so with the help of the x-ray image the doctor find where the injuries are there in your body isn't it so uh, we can just, uh, you, I can say, uh, we can we can know the shape of the human skeleton with the help of X-ray image. Isn't it? Yes. We are getting uh, it with the help of the X-ray image. Now, let me tell you this. Let me write this also. So, we know the shape of human skeleton with the help of the X-ray images. And the doctors are also using the X-ray image for finding out the injuries in your body. Okay. Now, the next point in the human skeleton means all the points that you have to write in the human skeleton here, okay? So, the next point is our wrist. This is our wrist here, okay? So, our wrist is also made up of the several bones. Like, suppose we have the wrist here. So, we can move our wrist like this, okay? So, here also we have some bones. So, the bones in the wrist are known as the carpals. We call them as the carpals, isn't it? 
we call them as carpels okay so let's say had it been a single bone here so have, would you have been uh, able to move your wrist like this no okay so you have small carpels there in mean the small bones so that allows the movement of your wrist in all the direction isn't it so these bones which are there in your wrist are known as the carpels okay let me show you the carpels also here also you have to make the figure of the means uh, the carpels of the or the bones in the wrist okay let me show it to you so this is the framework of the bones here okay so here you have the wrist bones here these are small small you can you see these small bones okay so these are the small small bones here these allow the movement in all the directions so these small bones are known as the carpels we would call them as the carpels so this may make this structure also like here in our fingers also we have the small small bones so this also allows the movement of the finger we can bend our fingers from everywhere from here from here and from here also we can bend our fingers isn't it yes so we have the different types of bones here so these allow the movement in the different different directions okay so the bones here in our wrist are known as the carpels okay some more types of uh, bones in the human skeleton we are going to discuss ahead in this lecture okay that is all for today would we'll be discussing some more about the human skeleton in the upcoming lectures till then stay tuned and keep watching thank you have a good day